you too. Oh, I'll drink that water. I just filled it fresh. <laughs> okay, we can all see. I just put water in there. And yet, what do you want? You want this water? The water in your pumpkin dish? What is wrong with these dogs? Why is everything in the crate better than what's outside of the crate? definitely don't understand people's motivation for marathons you know it's just that's not something I understand honestly the driving factor behind any sort of workout or fitness regime regime the motivation I have for any type of fitness regime comes from my desire to survive the apocalypse I watched a fair amount of seasons of Walking Dead and they ran a lot there's the one time when the guy was like running and running and running to outrun zombies and I was thought to myself, you know, damn, I do not have the stamina to survive that. Nor do I really think I would, at some point I would just be like, Tag, you got me, I'm it. My motivation for working out stems from wanting to survive the apocalypse, not anything rational. Oh, I just got my foot caught in the door. God, I am not the most graceful person in the world. In fact, I'm probably really low on that list. I figured though, instead of continuing to torture myself by physical exertion in the form of cardio, I'm gonna go ride my pony instead because that seems like a lot more fun right now. Oh, do you guys want something? Oh, oh my god. Any marks? Get set. Go! Just kidding, your deck is gone. Look, one child uses the stairs. Ah! God, he was gonna bring so much dirt back into the house with that one sprint. Two seconds later, and they're like, hey, we wanna come back inside. Oh, he's gonna take. Do not take that tone with me, mister. Oh. Oh, I know. He, do not use potty language. <laughs> Gonna wash him. Oh, oh, you tell him, Milton. You tell him. Oh, yeah, we're telling him. Yeah, yeah, he can go shove it, right? Because you're inside now, and they have to suffer the outside world. Nah, man, you asked to go out there. No, no. Don't take that tone with me, young man. I am your mother! Oh god, okay, he's rude. I don't, I don't know whose kid that is. Well, that is a mighty good looking pony over there. Hello, hello, hello! How do we like my fence fixing job? Looks darn good if I might say so. Hello, my children. How are you? How are you? All my little terrors in a row. Solo un rayo del sol Cambia el tiempo en el reloj Hoy mis deudas reciben perdón Pago por el show Me siento feliz porque Si no soy yo, pues quién Todos caen a mi lado El freno lo arranqué Me siento feliz porque Yo no dudo mi power Te burlaste de mí, se hace a cabo Trata de festejar, celebramos el bienestar Tantas estrellas brillan, quiero un carro que corra más Nada me rompe, no, no, nada me rompe Trata de festejar, celebramos Milton just went after you guys <laughs> He wants to play <laughs> Oh my god. Poor Milton. Today's not going well because we have a train. It's just like one thing after another. The car makes a noise. We're scared. The drone, she got upset. Vamos el bienestar. Tantas estrellas brillan. Y Marta me espera mientras yo vea. Nada me rompe. No, no, nada me rompe. Yeah. 
Quiero un carro que corra más Traigo un fin y después Fumo un cabo de cigarette Me pierdo en la ciudad Ha llegado mi tiempo ya Voy a vivir porque Si yo no soy yo, pues ¿quién? Todos caen a mi lado Is he coming after you guys or is he just excited? I think he Some days you just you're a dumbass. Today that was me. So that sucked. Uh, multiple occasions I thought I was far enough away from Milton. Turns out that was proven wrong rather quickly. That was it. That was my thoughts. Thank you. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. We'll be having another one. Never again. Ugh. This poor horse, man. The owner she has to put up with is astounding. Some horses get good owners, some horses get bad owners, and one horse got me. I'm so sorry for your short draw the straw. Oh, true. Step. Nope. Stay. Hey. 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 Come back here. Hey. Hey. Angle wise, we're a little bit shifty here. Oh, I think we got it. Ladies and gentlemen, view, peek this camera shot. You're not falling over, you're not at some weird tilted angle. You're here, you're you. Hello, welcome. Here's the thing, right? I would say a good 70% of our rides are normally really great and really awesome. And then the ones that I catch on camera, or like when people come to watch me ride, are the ones that I am less than impressed with. And also, you're just like, what the hell are you doing, man? That was one of those rides today where I was like, what am I doing? I don't know, but I can't seem to fix anything. That's what was going on. I also feel like I was operating a lot dumber than I normally do. There's some days when I'm just dumber than I was the previous day. And that normally happens when I have like an exam or a test or an interview and I'm supposed to be intelligent. Normally, intelligence wise, I would argue I'm operating about, about here. And then today I was operating like way down yonder. I was operating over here. I'd love if I normally operated up here. I don't. It's so normally about here. Today we were here. Obviously, we got examples, right? You just saw my ride. Um, for instance, Milton was on his lunch line tied to a tree. And I was like, yo, I'm a 24-year-old adult. I am aware of where my body is. I can see distances sometimes, occasionally. Mills, most of the time, was just laying there in the middle of the arena, just chilling. You know, he was minding his own business. He was enjoying the sun, the warmth, the humidity. He was just doing fine. And I was like, well, that's totally cool. I'd be able to trot can around him. He wasn't minding most of the time. And I was also like, you know what, just to be on the safe side, I'll stay out of his little lunge line reach zone. That way, if he ever like actually ran to the end of his lunge line, he wouldn't get tangled up with me and Trin. He wouldn't chase her, wouldn't spook her. Um, like I had that in mind did not execute it that way. In reality, I realized my spatial awareness was pretty much zilch. There was a few different times, few different instances when I was like, hey, I'm far enough away. Or like, hey, he's looking over there. He's not gonna come bother us. And then I was proven wrong instantly by Mills himself. He took it upon himself to be like, hey, guess what, Holmes? You're inside my lunge line reach area. And that sucked to be reminded because of course Trin was just doing what I was doing and like going where I was pointing her to and I take her into range of a puppy running at her to play with her. Like he wasn't charging to be a little dick or anything. He was just, he just wanted to play, right? And then pon like puppies running at pony, pony sees puppy and there's this like, ah, 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 that happened. And then to top it off, for some reason it was really windy and Trin was like every single noise was just Every single noise was an invisible Pokemon that we had to, you know, have a jump scare at every single time. So there was a leaf at one point that was like tumbleweeding across the driveway. And I'll give it to her. The leaf was a little bit bigger than our average leaves that come blowing across. But this leaf was just going like across the driveway, right? I didn't notice it at first. She did. She noticed it long ways off, like in her sights, locks onto that leaf. It does like a 360 spin, full around, looks at it, plants feet, and then just like, start shuffling backwards and I almost came off on that one. I was like, okay, love the test of my seat. 
Didn't think it was necessary, but sure, we'll go with it. And then I had the great idea of, you know, things are going so well already. Let's throw the drone up into the sky and take some video. And most of the time, Trina's great with the drone, doesn't mind it, which, you know, is surprising all on its own, right? Because like flying thing ch -ch 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 above her head. And so today she was not having the drone, was not amused with it. Like as soon as the drone goes up, she's like, hey yo, we seeing that in the sky? Because there's something in the sky following us. And then there was another instance. I thought I'd work my walk heavily into this. Did not work my walk heavily in well. We just biffed it. Soon as like we doing a great circle, she's kind of jigging a little bit, didn't really want to walk. And I was like, you know what, instead of fighting with you, I'm just gonna let you sort it out. The walk cavalier is gonna correct you. It'll be fine, we'll just be nice and relaxed and chill. And we like we got to the walk cavalier and just crumbled. Cookie, the cookie crumbled and it did not crumble well. I was doing everything wrong and couldn't figure out how to fix it. And like she was telling me I was doing everything wrong. And I was like, yes, it's great, I understand that I'm an idiot. I just don't know how to correct me being an idiot yet right now. And that was today's ride. Maybe I just suck at riding. I don't know. You ever had those days you're like, man, maybe I'm not good at what I love to do, which sucks, but we're having one of those come to moments right now, I think. I don't know. Like, cause two weeks ago, not two weeks ago, like a month ago when I tested out the Nalanta Bridal Right, I actually ran to a freaking tree, like an absolute numbskull. And then the next time we didn't, like we didn't run into a tree or anything, but she like cow kicked out because of the next Bitless Bridal we were trying. So right now, all my videos show me just like having terrible ride after terrible ride after terrible ride. Like we have had some really great rides in the middle. I just don't have video footage of them all the time. What I have is this unfortunately, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna go with it, so. <laughs> Hello, how goes it? All right, we actually have a few more goals before the night closes out. First goal, I wanna burn some things. I would like a flame. I'd like to dance around the fire like a hooligan. The second goal, I am armed with marshmallows, which means we need to roast these things. That's my plan to close out this fantastic day. Let's go roast some shallows, dudes. I met him on a sunny day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. I told him I want that great love, like standing in the middle of a bonfire. You don't know how you got there, but you hold tight, knowing that you can't get burned. Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other. I honestly don't know. And tell me how we. Did I get you? I was just trying to scare you. Did I get you? The fake laugh for the camera. Okay. <laughs> Close, but let's make it like a dramatic mouth open, head back laughter. Ready? And action. Okay. Not that. <laughs> 